I know, I know, yeah, I know that uh, choosing GPUs for mining is, is a very tough decision and it's very hard to do because, um, you know, there's a lot of factors involved depending on what currency you want to mine, you know, what the hash rate will do uh, on this GPU for this current uh, mining algorithm you want to mine. Um, the power efficient, how efficient is these graphics cards? Is these graphics cards more efficient than the other graphics cards on the cryptocurrencies, uh, cryptocurrency mining? So yeah, um, for comparisons, you know, and hopefully this will help you to choose graphics cards for your mining operation. Um, we are testing out, you know, one of the most, uh, one of the best uh, GPU uh, mining cards uh, GPU cards uh, for mining uh, cryptocurrencies uh, which is RX 5700 and the 1660 Ti um, you know these cards you know does a um, couple couple mining algorithms very efficiency you know um, RX 5700 you know does Ethereum mining the most efficient and the Ravencoin does the um, the 1660 Ti does the Ravencoin mining most efficient um, so these are the models here. Um, this is the 1660 Ti I am using GeForce uh, GeForce 1660 Ti Zotac brand, and the other one is MSI Mitch. Fifty-seven hundred GPUs. So these are the both rigs, you know, both of them has 12 GPUs. Uh, these cards RX 5700 are modified, um, so basically I put RX 5700 XT BIOS on them and edited the timings for more efficient mining. And these are Zotax, they're stock cards, you know, with some um, hour clock tuning uh, to receive the most efficient uh, mining speed on these graphics cards. Um, they are built in these uh, 12 GPU cases. And um, yeah, let's see what's the performance. Um, what I want to do is, you know, just calculate, um, you know, what's the fastest uh, return of investment in this equipment. Um, just a comparison, you know, which would be a better choice if you want to buy graphics cards uh, for mining, which would be a better choice? Um, which brand, uh, which model would be from these two would be a better buy, which will bring you the money back faster? I know that, you know, prices for not everyone is the same, but but roughly they are um, average worldwide. So the only difference on these mining rigs is about 600 euro difference. Um, these cards are 60 euro cheaper about 60 euro, um, Zotac 1660 Ti, then the um, AMD MSI RX 5700 GPUs. So these are the GPUs we are using, so let's see what kind of uh, mining hash rates we can get, what kind of efficiency. So hit the like button now. Hitting the like button doesn't cost you anything. It helps you to find out which GPUs are the most efficient for mining. So, as you can see, I'm running this rig currently on Hive OS mining Ethereum at averaging 665 mega hash currently. And uh, um, every GPU uh, is averaging about 55 mega hash. And uh, the temperatures on the GPUs are quite good, around 65 Celsius. And uh, um, yeah, and uh, I'm using currently. Uh, um, I'm using a Phoenix miner. I'm using Phoenix miner to uh, mine uh, Ethereum. Um, also, you know, HiveOS has added support to flash BIOS on these graphics cards, uh, which you previously couldn't do it um, straight to your graphics cards, but only if you are using beta version 1.0 of uh, one sorry zero six point one forty if you're using this version you can do it and um, 
the hour clocks I was using, there's a couple new features added for these graphics cards in Hive OS. So you can uh, control your memory voltage, you can control your memory controller voltage, and you can uh, control the power limit on this graphics card. So these things are good for reducing the power usage on the graphics cards. So this GPU uses um, 1340 uh, core clock, uh, all clock, of course they 2 core voltage 760, memory controller voltage 780, memory clock averaging 910, and uh, memory voltage 1280. Uh, power limit I have set on 119, um, aggressing undervolting on, but I don't think this does work with these graphics cards. Um, so yeah, that's that's that. That's that's for Ethereum. Also, what you can do, you can see here in Hive OS. You know, it's a good good um, thing that you can see popular presets. What other people are using for all clocks for these graphics cards, and you can see that um, core clock is all averaging 1,300, and the the memory is 920, um, somewhere 900. It's a good good place to see, you know, if you don't know, don't have an idea what kind of overclock should be used. Um, you can see that also uses power, 1,379 watts. This is on high OS from the wall, it's much more. Uh, it is 1,400 watts from the wall uh, with the current settings. So the other rig, 12, 16, 60 TIs, is mining a POW, uh, Ravencoin, at averaging from uh, 174 mega hash currently you see see the 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 the, the wattage is quite good on this graphics card it's showing 100 watts in a hive os and uh you know it's it's averaging from 173 to 180 mega hash mining speed i'm using cc enemy a cc minor enemy for mining raven coin on minor more mining pool So the setting for for Kapow, the overclock setting, this is quite simple setting. I'm using here 1200 memory hertz uh, overclock and 105 power limit on these graphics cards. Same here, same thing. You can see the uh, popular presets on these graphics cards. What kind of overclocks uh, people are using for the same graphics cards to mine the same mining algorithm Kapow. And you can see some of them has 150 core old clock memory 700 and power limit 90 uh, some of them even has power limit 75 i haven't tested you know what kind of speed and what kind of power usage you could get at this uh, very interesting um so so yeah this is it i also want to show you the price difference on these two rigs you can see that um, this is mineshop.eu, this is a, a website, uh, mining hardware website, mining online hardware shop uh, we have been running since 2016. Um, you can see that the, the price on the 16, uh, 60 Ti 12 GPU rig is, is currently cost, you know, 4.147 and um, the 5700 GPUs is about 700 more expensive, 4887. Um, so this is about 5% um, difference on the GPUs, which is not too big. Um, uh, but uh, let's see the, 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 what profitability they do. Um, you know, and when we insert the data in the calculator, which GPUs will be fastest to um, you know, pay back the minor investment. So the hash rate on Ethereum, 670 mega hash, and the power usage was 1,800 watts. If you calculate that, uh, we get currently uh, 1045 revenue and the profit is 613 at 10 cents a kilowatt hour. Uh, and the Ravencoin is, as a Ravencoin is more profitable to mine with these graphics cards than uh, the uh, Ethereum, uh, it, these 1660 Ti would be doing half of the speed uh, as this rig on mining uh, Ethereum, maybe a little bit more than a half. Uh, it will be doing somewhere 320, 330 uh, mega hash. And uh, let's let's see that for a second, you know, 330 mega hash, uh, calculate. It will be doing about revenue 515. And if they are mining uh, Ravencoin, 
So the speed 180 mega hash at 1400 watts. And the revenue would be 7.34 US dollars and the profit nearly 4 US dollars. So it's clearly seen that uh, it is uh, more efficient with the 16 TIs, 1660 TIs to mine a Ravencoin than mine Ethereum. But absolute winner, 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 chicken dinner is the uh, uh, RX 5700 GPUs as they are uh, bringing about 30% more revenue uh, from mining um, than the 1660 Ti. Uh, even that the you know GPU price between the 16 Ti and RX 5700 GPUs is only five percent you know but the revenue is 30 percent so it makes more sense that the clear winner is rx5700 so that will be my top choice of choosing graphics cards um, the same way you can calculate the profit the 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 uh the uh so ethereum 670 the same way you can calculate the uh, uh return of your um, investment so the, the the rig for example uh, calculator uh, 4887 um, divided divided by 1046 is 400, 467 days uh, to pay back uh, such equipment and if you check on the raven coin it will be even lo longer you know um, so uh, 4147 4147 let's divide this by uh, raven coin 7.34 sorry 4147 divided by <coughs> 7.34 it will be even 100 days more you know that there's a big difference so this is this is the uh, main point of and um, main point of choosing the GPUs correctly because some of the GPUs could bring you uh, profit much faster than the other ones so winner winner chicken dinner is the RX 5700 GPU but guys keep in mind that you know these calculators are only valid on day-to-day -day basis uh, because cryptocurrencies are extremely volatile but anyway i do think that rx5700 is the top gpu currently to choose as it was the rx 570 which i was 470 and 4 570 which i was right about uh, the best GPU to choose in uh, 2016, 2017, 2018, even even in the start of the bear market, it was the uh, most chosen graphics card because uh, it it has very good performance on memory hard algorithms. You know, all AMD's are great performance on memory hard mining algorithms. So, and they usually usually are cheaper price per hash than the nvidia cards um, so i do think that rx5700 currently is the best gpu for choosing mining there's no real other currencies which you can mine on N nvidia coins a, a large cap coins uh, which you can mine on N nvidia gpus very efficiently um, and the ethereum mining there's you know the the it it, it will be definitely out there well for at least a couple of years you know because it 2.0 is coming but you know the only stage zero is coming up till uh, end of july and this won't affect mining at all then the phase one is coming probably mo the in best case scenario end of the year somewhere in late december if that's coming it will be hybrid um after phase one which means uh, uh, proof of work still will be very little affected. Um, as far as I know that there will be 60 blocks on proof of work and only one block on proof of stake. 
and after that you know probably it will be tested for a couple of years till we get a fully switch to the proof of stake and eliminate the GPU binding from Ethereum as it is the biggest coin on the uh, on the uh, the biggest GPU mineable coin uh, so this is why I would choose the RX 5700 GPUs over the 1660 Ti's and 1660 Ti's I do think are better than the rest of the Nvidia um, the Nvidia GPUs they are value GPU they are very cheap they are very power efficient and this is this is the few reasons why I would choose these GPUs so thank you guys for watching video till end if you did watch till end hit that like button and subscribe the channel if you haven't done so yet otherwise I'll see you guys on the next video goodbye 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 mine hardcore or don't mine at all